Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room. I'm Bob Papa. The Giants knocked off the Rams 17 to 10. The winning score came on a running play. We've got the guy who scored it, Rashad Jennings. Now, Rashad, here's the situation. You get the ball inside the 10-yard line, and you guys ran it on three straight plays, including the go-ahead touchdown, third and goal at the one. What does that say about the confidence that the coaches have in you and that offensive front? Because you guys haven't ran it great this year, but to call your number in a situation like that. Um, it's huge. You know, it's speaking to the whole entire offensive line, too. You know, when you, when you talk about the run game, it, it includes the tight ends. It includes the offensive line, the back, um, the quarterback getting us to the right play, and also the receivers um, sticking their nose in there and trying to hunt down some of the safety. So to get three hardball run plays in a row, um, it means a lot to this team. All right, let's take a look at it. And we're going to take a look at it from the All-22 and just talk a little bit about what you're seeing here in the backfield because I know the quarterback's got to make reads, the receivers have to make reads, and so does the running back. Absolutely. And as you can see right here, we actually checked out of the play. It was the original play, and uh, as Eli's up, he's seeing something right here, and it's loud in there. He's making sure that everybody uh, up front, including myself, has a proper call to receiver. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, that a lot of people may not know and have an appreciation for. But he's getting me right, the tight ends, the receivers right there with those quick points and getting us to a play. Now, this, this run play in particular, what I'm doing, I'm seeking the inside zone and I'm, I'm, I'm watching our double team. You see, with Pew and Flowers right there, that double team, I'm trying to read, they're trying to climb up to 52. And as I see 52 scream over the top, I know that my best bet right now instantly is going to be inside that to rub that double team tight as I can and fight for that one yard because it's so, so close. So you know that in that situation right there that there's going to be just enough of a seam as Ogletree scrapes across the top that with that double team block, if you get right on Flowers' hip, there should be enough room for you to get in. Right, exactly. And if you want, if you want one hole, one inch too wide, that play doesn't make it. Um, if that double team doesn't get beat like they did, which they, they, they did a pretty good job of moving them out the way, I wouldn't have that fit. And so, like I said, collectively in the run game, it's, it's everybody, every hand that counts. You know, as we see you take the handoff on that play, can you just talk about sort of the decisiveness that you have to have in your mind. Because if you hesitate even a second, Ogletree now gets up the field and you're probably losing a yard on the play. Absolutely. And when you get down to the goal line, it's, it's a lot about attitude. The trenches get even tighter. Uh, the defense is, is a short distance. Even the safeties are in the box. Pretty much every, everybody but the corners are in the box. Um, and so you know it's going to be a tight fit no matter where you're at. And you have to trust your instincts. Go back to what, what Coach McAdoo presses on us is to trust your training. And this is a play that we run, you know, uh, since, since training camp well, with the same guys over and over and over repetitively. Um, and so when the game is on, you know, game is on the line and, and, and the ball is right there at the one, it becomes more of an attitude and trust in your double teams. Rashad, we appreciate a couple of minutes. Thanks for breaking it down for us. Oh, no problem. Appreciate it. That's Rashad Jennings breaking down the game-winning touchdown in London inside the film room.